My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. This is gorgeous. Tomorrow I actually do care because there are some pieces there that I do want as a personal. These two t-shirts and then the beanie. Oh my god one! Oh nice! Oh my god, we're cooking! Today we have dunks dropping. Oh I got one! We made a bunch of sales on Flight Club. In about a few minutes, I'm going to be running for some mids on Nike. I am running about 150 accounts. And I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to be really going that hard for mids that might break. I don't know, I might not even know what I'm talking about because I'm a huge noob when it comes to mids. And every time decent looking mids come out, like a few months later, they go up in price. And then I'm thinking to myself, dude, I'm such an idiot for not copying those. So I'm basically gonna take a little bit of a risk over here and run 150 accounts on Nike. I don't even know if I'm gonna cop any and I don't even know if all 150 accounts are gonna go through, but uh, we'll end up seeing what happens. You guys know the feeling when like everybody's bot seems to work except for your own yeah that's kind of how i feel right now but it's okay it's not a big deal this drop wasn't that important anyway but it would be nice to take a w michigan dunks are going to be dropping today now this release is an important release and i really do hope that we get some however as per usual when it comes to dunks dunks are really really hard to get so i'm not really expecting to get anything but in the past few weeks, we have been doing pretty well on Shopify. So there's that going for us. But the goal is to get at least one of these. Dude, I got waiting for a restock instantly. Fuck. How much stock did they have? There's no way. Like, I didn't even have a chance. Alright, Soul AIO took stock and Cyber didn't do anything. There's going to be a few releases today. Man, they weren't lying when they said that this week was going to be absolutely packed because so far there has been a drop every single day. Kind of tired of taking L's, so hopefully we do get something today. Alright, so I just realized that I messed something up. So for my GS, oh shoot, parking meters. Oh, oh my god, that one almost went through. 
Okay, anyways, for my GS tasks, I assigned sizes as well because I just assigned sizes for all of the tasks. And the size that I did assign did not have any GS sizes in it, so my GS tasks just didn't pick anything up. But it is all good. We ended our short L streak with a checkout for the Jordan 1 Tokyos in a size 10. Bro, that's crazy. Shit, I hit on BNB. Two. Let's go. BNB finally doing work for me. I just copped a whole bunch of mids on Nike. BNB absolutely held it down for me. I've been getting a lot of questions whether or not BNB still works. I did make an updated tutorial on the state of BNB and that's still true for the most part. Long story short, it doesn't work all that well for super duper hype drops because of Nike's filtering. But when it comes to like random restocks like this on Nike desktop, it does work pretty well. Super happy about that. Looking forward to getting those in person. Got a few things that came in the mail today from Kith. We have slides, the core colorway. This looks like poop. And we have dunks. Not sure which this one is. This is super duper soft. Look at the way that just sinks in like that. And same with the rest of the sneaker. Man, dunks are always on point with their quality. And we have two packages from Shoe Palace. These are the Kobe's. You won't be able to see this on the camera, but it has like this weird rainbow pink tint over here. It's almost impossible to explain, really. That is so weird. How did they do that? It literally doesn't show up on the camera, but it looks pink when I shine it up against the light. In case you missed my previous episode, I did mention that this size 11 Kobe, I am going to be selling it for retail price to someone who's a really big Kobe fan. And then this size 13, I will be selling it on my website for resale price and 100% of the profits will be donated to the Innocence Project from this shoe. Speaking of Shoe Palace though, they finally did it. They made the switch to Shopify. Now, a lot of people are gonna think that I'm super duper upset about this because it was basically the platform that allowed me to get 100 clips, like, no problem. But to be honest, if I was being 100% real about it, I think this is a good change because now the platform is more accessible to more people. For the next few days or maybe even the next few weeks, I'm gonna really keep my eye on the Shopify monitor from now on because I know Shoe Palace randomly likes to restock a bunch of items and usually their stock is huge. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what kind of sneakers they release going forward. There are a lot of sneakers dropping today. I gotta really just pick and choose which shoes and which websites to prioritize and go for because every time I try to go for everything at the same time, I usually end up getting nothing and that's exactly what we don't want to happen. Let's see what we end up with. Ooh. 
that was gone instantly. No bot protection and it was super duper limited. February, February, oh fuck, February, add to cart, please don't take an L because I didn't know how to spell, come on, come on, oh shit, ju -ju -ju -jun just drop, why at the same time, dog, why at the same time, why are you, why are you doing this to me, Shopify filtered, uh, ju -ju 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 -jun. where are you at, ju -ju -jun. Jun, 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 uh, quick task, oh, I gotta check the box, I'm an idiot, check out, bro, this is too much, I'm overwhelmed right now, Solve capture to continue. Oculus private. If I manage to cut both of these, it's gonna be a fucking miracle. So many releases today and not a single W. I have to admit that bodega drop was just utter crap. Basically, you kind of just had to get lucky and hope that you got through. Unfortunately for me, I didn't get through. But they are going to be re-releasing it on the 29th. But I would hope that that is a way more smoother drop than what happened today. As far as all the other drops, I don't know. I just suck, I guess. But in addition to that bodega new balance drop, there are going to be a lot more super duper important drops next week. So we'll see how we do on those on the next episode. Thank you.